Hi everyone, it's Britt from Britt Chandler Photography and I wanted to show you how I quickly batch edit my personal photos. Um, usually my personal photos really suffer and they just sit on my hard drive unedited and nobody ever sees them when I'm super busy and you know have all these client images to edit and whatnot. So I wanted to show you how I'll quickly go through and edit my personal photos so I can get them shared on Facebook so my friends and family back east can see them and see the boys and feel like they're with us. So um, I have a selection of recent images from a park trip. I've already called through, but I want to show you just how I will go through quickly and edit these. So I'll start by just playing with the exposure and the crop if I feel like it's needed. So I have the exposure how I want it. Um, I'll go to white balance. It looks a little blue. So warm that up a tad and add a little bit of magenta just because I like to. And then I'm going to select all of the images that were taken in that time period at that location with that same light. And I'm going to hit sync and check none and just click white balance. So now those images all have the same exact white balance, but everything else is different. So that doesn't change the exposure settings or anything like that. So now I'm going to go through these four images and change exposure. This one I'm going to brighten up a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So I'm just going to hit previous, go to the next one. And this one I'm going to straighten just a bit. And now I'm going to go to this image. It's really blown out, so I'm going to pull my exposure down, my whites down, my highlights down. Because it's personal images, I try not to get too picky with them. I just want them edited and looking good. But I have so many Facebook friends that are photographers, so I can't get too lazy. But that looks good. My random flower pictures, I'm just going to warm them up and keep them pretty much the same. I'm going to hit previous to warm them up. And now I'm going to play with my white balance again. Um, this actually looks good. I'm going to add a little bit of pink and then maybe cool down a bit since the sun was setting. I'm going to brighten up just a wee bit. And then since all of these pictures down here were taken at the same time, I'm going to hit sync. Um, I already have white balance selected and I'm going to synchronize. So all of those images have the same white balance and now I'm going to go through and play with the exposure and crop on each one. So I don't think I can straighten this much or I'll lose more of him, but it's a personal shot so I'll leave it. This one I can straighten up a bit. And I think I'm going to brighten them just a little bit. Maybe add some whites in. Just a bit. It's obvious that these are personal shots because look at his messy face and shirt. But I love his expression looking at his daddy. This one uh, looks pretty good. It's a little green so I'm going to boost the magenta a bit. Gonna straighten this one a little bit. Maybe crop out that kid. Perfect. Mm, if I straighten this, I'll probably lose more of his feet, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Gonna straighten this shot. Gonna straighten this shot. I guess I can't shoot very straight. That one looks good, that one looks good, that one is too cute, my silly boys. And this one I'm going to brighten up a lot and warm up. And that looks good. So now I'm going to actually go back to the beginning and my go-to preset, this is just optional, but my go-to preset is my luminous preset from my authentic set, which is a for sale in Clickin' Moms. And now I'm going to hit shift and select all my images, hit sync. I'm gonna hit check all, 
and then unclick the ones that I don't want them to change. So white balance I already took care of, um, exposure I already took care of, highlights and white clipping I already took care of. Let's see. All local adjustments. I didn't do anything, but I like to unclick those just in case. And then crop and angling, I am going to unclick that. I'm going to hit synchronize. And now everything is edited just the way I like. And it was really quick and easy. So that's how I edit my personal photos quickly. If I just don't have time to get super, super detailed and personal with them. But, alright, thanks for watching.